Rebecca Reimers here with the Bridger Teton Avalanche Center Foundation. Today we're going to talk about historical data tables on jhavalanche.org. Do you ever wonder how the snow depth on a particular day compares historically to previous seasons, or if it snows more in early January or late January? You can find the answers to these questions in the historical data table section of jhavalanche.org. This feature of the website will search a historical database of weather data and snow measurements that date back as far as 1974 and provide comparisons of data from different seasons. The snowfall and snow depth data from the Jacksonville Mountain Resort or JHMR snow study plot is derived from daily field measurements made during the winter operating season. For that reason, these measurements are delayed in the database by one day. For example, if you use this database on February 2nd, the actual snowfall measurements for that day have yet to be taken and therefore they are not yet in the database. Those measurements will be taken during the day, entered into the database later that day, then posted the next day on February 3rd. For this reason, this database is always one day behind. This means that during the JHMR winter operating season, the snowfall and snow depth data that you view will be derived from actual field measurements. This is not the case at any of the other remote stations where the snowfall and snow depth data is estimated by forecasters from remote instrumentation. To get to the historical data tables, go to the data center pull down menu and select snowpack information which will then display another pull-down menu. Go to the bottom of that second menu and select Historical Data Tables. You may need to use the down arrow button on your keyboard to get to the bottom of that menu if your screen is too small. To learn how to use this tool, select the previous day from the date selection options provided for the reasons already stated and hit the View Data button. Now you're ready to view information for the day selected. The Report Format menu has two options. The default option is data details and snow depths. That option is also defaulted to the Teton area, which provides data from the snow study plots at JHMR. If you scroll down, you can view a table that lists snow depths measurements at four snow study plots for the day selected, for the years that measurement exists, and for the day at those stations. Keep in mind that the Raymer station did not exist before the fall of 1997, and that there may be times that measurements are not available because the resort or certain lifts like the tram may have been closed for that day. Snow depth averages the number of years of measurement, the deepest year and the lowest year at each snow study plot are listed at the bottom of the table. If you're interested in snow depths at snow stations in Grays River and Togadee Pass area, click on those buttons at the top of the table. Those stations have not been in operation as long as the ones at JHMR, and therefore that database is historically shorter. Let's get back to the Teton area tab. Don't change the data details menu. Go to the next menu down and change it from snow depth to new snowfall. It will then prompt you to select two dates that represent a date range selection. For this exercise, let's select the date range for the first week of January, the first through the seventh then hit the View Data button. This tool will then display the snowfall amount measured at each station for the selected date range or estimated from remote instrumentation depending on which station and what time of the season you have selected. Averages, years of date, and the lowest and highest values are again provided at the bottom of the table. Let's try another option. Go to the New Snowfall menu location and change that to total snowfall or temperatures. Make sure you have selected the date that you desire and that it is at least one day older than the present date. Be sure to hit the View Data button. Pretty cool stuff. There's one more option that you may enjoy. Go back to near the top of the page to the Report Format menu and change it from Data Details to Daily Summary. Make sure you have the date you're interested in and that the date is at least one day older than the present date. Hit the View Data button, scroll down, and view a compilation of temperatures and weather data from that date from our database. We hope you enjoy this tool. It searches a large database, so a good internet connection and an updated web browser are helpful when you're using it.